What's going on everyone? Well, thanks for checking out another one of my videos. We're not on the ocean today. That's usually what I'm doing. So today we're out in the Delta. We got brackish water, a little bit of fresh, a little bit of salt. We're gonna go after sturgeon. Got my brother Steven with me today. Good morning. So always love fishing with him. Brings you back to childhood. That's what we grew up doing together, fishing. So whenever I get an opportunity to go fishing with him, I'm excited. So we got our rods with us today. We got four of them out here. You only see three right there. Uh, some barbless hooks, some steel leader. We're gonna put a weight on that thing right there. Depending on where we go, maybe probably six ounce weight. Our bait, ghost shrimp. Check those out. I picked them up last night, kept them in the refrigerator with some damp towels so they're still alive and crawling. And I got salmon roe from my uh, one salmon I caught on the river this year. It was a nice hen with this great row. So we're gonna tie some of that up. A little journey out here for me today. Don't know what to expect, but hopefully we can get a big sturgeon, maybe some stripers. All right, follow us along. So we should stop the boat. We probably traveled, I don't know, maybe five miles. Our destination was probably 10 miles away. Um, we saw some boats. We saw a net go down and pick up a sturgeon, maybe about a 35 incher. Uh, it wasn't too big, but hey, we saw one. So we got some boats here behind us and in front of us. Um, we're kind of just gonna jump in here and see if more get caught and if we can find them. Uh, looking at the fish finder, I think we're picking up some fish as well. I mean, look at that arch. But we're seeing some good signs of them, I think, here. Um, again, up there, maybe not the sturgeon so up high, but things are getting found, it looks like. So we're gonna give it a try. Um, let me put head cam on and bait up and show how I do it. So I'm gonna try four and six ounce weights, uh, see which one works better. You know, I don't want it moving around. That's why I'm using a six ounce. We do have a little bit of current here, but not too much. Uh, so go shrimp. Gonna go ahead and pick this nice big one. Uh, like take off this big pincher claw right there, just cause it's hard. And we don't want our sturgeon to grab our nice soft ghost shrimp. And he's gonna feel the hardness of the hook. I don't need him to also feel the hardness of this claw. So we'll take that and discard it. Um, so now with this guy, cause we're fishing for sturgeon, we need a barbless hook. I think this is a six aught. This is gonna kill them by doing it, unfortunately. So we'll go ahead and have it come up the front there and thread them up a little bit, just like so. And then we're gonna grab these bait buttons and that's gonna keep them on there and not have them slide off. You need the bait button or thread, otherwise with the barbless hook, it slides off a lot easier. And so if you see this little piece of rubber right here, these are called bait buttons. Um, that should keep them on there. I'm gonna go ahead and cast it out. We're 30 feet of water. I'm not gonna go too far. This one I'm gonna put on the side though, so let's see. That looks perfect right there. And then we got our balance uh, rod holders. So the reason you need a balanced rod holder is because the boat's gonna sway a little bit, right? We're anchored up and we got current and we don't want our line moving. So the balanced rod holder allows our line to stay in place as the boat moves and our rod, let's see here. Once we get it set, just like so, you guys see that? We got all four lines out. We have ghost shrimp on all four of them right now. Uh, we're gonna take a moment just to eat a little bit of food uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and make our row balls and then we'll do one of each. bit set the hook bait's gone felt a little tap taps probably a striper so we'll bait it up and get it back out oh my God. 
Do you think she just got a sturgeon bite? That's what it looked like. It just looked like it was just a drop. Dropping down. Man. Oh, look at that. Half taken off. Oh, oh Chris, Chris, oh, you got big drop, too. Mm. Wow. Oh, it's on. We're on. All right, guys, we're on. Pretty sure this is a sturgeon here. Yeah, this is a sturgeon, guys. Oh yeah, look, he's going crazy. He's getting closer. Oh baby. Cool. Don't net it, don't net it. Oh yeah. Cool to see a sturgeon. Awesome. Yeah. It's funny, I got a hit too right before. Yeah. I wonder if it was the same one or a little a couple going through. All right, so let's do the release. Barbless hook. There he goes. He swam away real fast there. Maybe next time I'll flip him over and let him go. So that's so cool, I got a sturgeon, huh? It was small, kind of embarrassing picture, but at least it's a sturgeon. I'm gonna go ahead and get this row going now. So I'll show you how I do that. We'll get some bait for some row baited up, because we need to. These ghost shrimp are going fast. We just keep getting bit, these little tip, tip, tip. I think they're small stripers. Um, we haven't landed one yet, so hopefully we can get one of those fish that are biting just so we can see what they are so this is fresh row done nothing to it just got it and froze it that's my understanding for sturgeon what you're supposed to do if you're making it for salmon or something that's when you cure it so, yeah look at that but yeah no, I just meant to that was all from one salmon that's half half from the salmon wow i have two bags like that so I think I put too much in this bag. Best one ever. We'll get better as we get going, but that'll work. So now that we got all these uh, balls, we're gonna clean them up and cut the uh, the tie off here, right here. Ugh, this knife's not so sharp anymore. There we go. That's just gonna look better, right? We don't need this extra cloth hanging off the back end. I just completed making all the salmon row. Get some sun on there, look at those. I think they turned out good. I'm excited to get those down. We're kind of low on ghost shrimp, maybe 12 left. We started the day with 30. So hopefully they like this salmon row because I got plenty of that. Um, and while we were making them, we made a complete 180 and we didn't get one bite during that time. Uh, so I think that good spot was kind of over here and I don't know, those boats, we haven't seen them get one fish yet. Um, so I think we're going to head over this way. I see maybe 10 boats uh, in front of us, maybe about one mile. Maybe that's a good spot there. Uh, we'll go give it a try. Follow us there. Right, new spot new dreams going for that big sturgeon still uh gonna do one each we're doing salmon row and one each with the shrimp um can see about 10 boats around so we'll have an idea if there's sturgeon in the area if someone else catches one It'd be really cool just to see someone else you know find a sturgeon 
Uh, so yeah, we'll give this one a try. It looks good. Wind's all but gone. Let's get it out there. Little striper finally got what was giving us trouble trying to steal our bait. Well, maybe 15 incher. Well, give him a nice release. So we got a new addition for the channel. Look at that guy's a drone. Gonna get some sweet footage with that hopefully. Uh, looks like a good place to test it out today nice and calm out here no wind we're anchored up let's take it for a spin it's gonna be a little little tricky taking getting it to fly off the boat i know we are a little worried about that oh. So we've been in this spot for 30, 40 minutes. That one small striper, um, just got another bottle on the Sim Salmon Row uh, to kind of, I guess, conserve the shrimp and to test out the row. We have row on all four of them now. Um, maybe it creates, creates like a nice, you know, scent smell of all the salmon eggs down there. Uh, so yeah, we'll hang out this spot, probably another half hour, 45 minutes, see if we can get any signs of sturgeon. Uh, none of the boats that I've been watching, we haven't seen them catch any yet. striper on this one's on the row feels better i mean there's a chance this is actually a sturgeon no nah, i just felt a bunch of head shakes but it's pulling yeah keeper size striper Probably about 23 incher. But nice. Happy to see we can get them on the salmon row. We got lots of that bait. So we're gonna move spots now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and continue, um, I guess you would call it up the Delta more uh, east. So uh, yeah, probably 10 minute drive or so. So we're in our new spot here. Uh, we'll do two row, two go shrimp. Feeling good, man, there's like, I don't know, 20 boats up that direction. We picked right behind them here. Um, yeah, drop them down. Let's see, what time is it? It's 11.55, so we've been fishing, what, four hours? um yeah we'll give this spot you know a try for an hour or two hopefully we can get that big sturgeon we're ready for it let's go 
So here's the moment we've been waiting for. Keep your eye on the rod on the left. Remember, sturgeon bites are really hard to see sometimes. Just slowly goes down, and that's what happens here. Bite. You guys see that? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, he's pulling out. What'd you hook him on? Salmon row. Salmon row. Wow. But I mean, it was slowly going down. It was your normal sturgeon bite you're looking for. Oh, this is big, guys. It feels big. Oh yeah. I mean, feels humongous. Really? Wow. Oh yeah. Lift the motor up, because I've had them try to go underneath there and cut the line. Shit, he's going near the anchor. He's going near the anchor, guys. It's like he knows. I just want to see it. Oh, oh, he's trying to fight now. Oh, jeez. Oh, is he charging? Anchor. I'm on the anchor. He's loose. He knew what he was doing. Look at the fish finder, guys. That's our fish. Oh. I know. Really? I almost was about to say, let's get that anchor up. Yeah, we should have. That was dumb. I know. It was huge. Like probably. that's your up one opportunity. Bummer, huh, guys? Oh, I just want to see the sturgeon. I don't have great reference of knowledge of feeling it how big it was, but it felt really big. Like, I mean, I've caught you know the slot ones. I've never caught an over slot over 60 inches. It felt like it definitely could have been that. Um, as it was moving up towards the anchor, I started getting worried about it, but. If I pull the anchor and then start drifting down and then the fish stays up here, I don't know. In hindsight, I wish I pulled the anchor right because it got off that way. But I pulled the, I lifted the motor up because in the past I've had sturgeon try and like cut the line underneath the motor. Those things are smart. They know what they're doing. That wasn't coincidence. He went up to that anchor line and got off. He knows what he's doing. All right, guys. Well, nothing more to report. No more bites. So we're going to go ahead and pull the anchor. What a fun day out here today. Man, we had the big sturgeon on. Can't believe it got off. We live and we learn. Next time we're going to get it to the boat. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.